Hello everyone. Let's have a look on one question of series and parallel combination of resistors. So here is a question where we are given five resistances and the value of resistance is also given to us. Then we are given that these resistances are connected to this battery whose voltage is 11 volts and we have to find out the total resistance of this whole circuit. And then we have to find out the total current which is flowing in the circuit. Now before proceeding, first of all we have to find out that which resistances are in series and which resistances are in parallel. Now to find that, we know the method. If the current divides, then we can say that the resistances are in parallel. But if the same current flows in all the resistances, then we say that those resistances are in series. This we know. So let's flow the current. So you will find out that when the current reaches the junction of R1 and R2, it divides into R1 and R2. So we can say that R1 and R2 are in parallel. Now when this current will again recombine and reach the resistances R3, R4 and R5, it will again divide in all these three resistances. So these three resistances are also in parallel. Now let's say that the equivalent resistance of R1 and R2 is Rp1 and the equivalent resistance of R3, R4 and R5 is Rp2. Now you will find out that same current is flowing in Rp1 and Rp2. So the equivalent resistance of R1 and R2 and the equivalent resistance of R3, R4 and R5 are in series. So first of all we can find out the value of Rp1 then we can calculate the value of Rp2 and then since these two resistances are in series so we can find out the equivalent resistance of these two also and finally we can calculate the net resistance. So let's find out the resistance of R1 and R2. Now we know the formula equivalent resistance in parallel is 1 upon Rp is equals to 1 upon R1 plus 1 upon R2 plus 1 upon R3 and we can mark out the values of R1 is given to be 20 ohms, R2 is 30, then R3 is 30, R4 is 20 and R5 is 60 ohms and we also know the value of voltage it is 11 volts. So let's try and find out the net resistance of this circuit. So we can find out the equivalent resistance of R1 and R2 this is 1 upon Rp1 equals to put the values of R1 and R2 this will be 1 by 20 plus 1 by 30. Now take the LCM and solve this. So this will be equals to LCM will be 60 here will be 3 plus 2 and this will be 5 by 60 and if we cancel it 5 twelfths are 60 so this will be 1 by 12 now if we reciprocal both these sides we'll get rp1 is equals to 12 so we can write down the value of rp1 to be 12 ohms similarly let's try to find out the value of rp2 as well so for Rp2, this will be 1 upon Rp2 will be equals to, put the values of R3, R4 and R5. This will be 1 upon 30 plus 1 upon 20 plus 1 upon 60. Now again take the LCM and solve this. LCM will be 60 here. So 60 will be the LCM. Here will come 2 plus 3 and plus 1. Now if we add this, this will come out to be 6 by 60 and if we cancel this, here will come 10. So it will remain 1 upon 10. Now if we again do the reciprocal on both the sides, the value of Rp2 will be equals to 10 ohms. 
Now since we had calculated the value of RP1 and RP2 and we know that these two resistances are in series. So we can apply the formula for series which is RS is equals to R1 plus R2 plus R3. So let's apply it here. So now if we apply for RP1 and RP2 we'll just have to add the values 12 and 10. So the net resistance will be equals to RS will be equals to RP1 plus RP2 and let's put the values so this will be 12 plus 10 so the value of net resistance will come out to be 22 ohms so we had calculated the total resistance of the circuit Next thing is to find out the total current which is flowing in the circuit. Now we know that the voltage of the circuit is 11 volts. So we can apply the Ohm's law which is V equals to IR to find out the value of current. So I will be equals to V upon R. So let's put the value in Ohm's law and find out the value of current in this circuit. Now I will be equals to the value of V is 11 and we had calculated the total resistance to be 22. So this will be 1 by 2. Now if we further solve this, I will come out to be 0 0.5 amperes. So all we have to do is find out that what all resistances are in series and what all resistances are in parallel and then apply the formulas for series and for parallel to solve the questions on the combination of resistors.